Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. Uh, for my part, I'm not, uh, I wasn't uh, really uh, back 100% to trading, but uh, next week uh, I'm uh, pretty uh, ready to start trading uh, as usual again. So uh, yeah, while I roll the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, a quick look on the calendar and as you see it's all about New Zealand and Aussie next week, not much of major event uh, from the US, um, we have only the ISM non-manufacturing PMI from the US to then um, start getting those New Zealand and Aussie news uh, most important are the cash rate and the official cash rate for New Zealand uh, and the uh, RBA monetary policy statement on Friday to then have uh, the employment change and unemployment rate for the CAD and for the sterling the GDP and non-manufacturing pr uh, production uh, on Friday but uh, for the sterling it's all about the Brexit and the uh, no deal talks and uh, um, you should keep an eye on those headlines what Boris Johnson is up to another important uh, uh, thing to keep an eye at uh, next week is of course the trade war um, headlines there is a lot of tension going on yet again between the uh, US and China so you need to keep an eye on those headlines yeah so as a planned event not much for the US next week um, and uh, yeah let's take a look at the chart we will start with the Dixie as usual and as you see on the weekly time frame uh, the Dixie we have a very strong rejection here on the weekly time frame it could not break uh, and hold above this level on the weekly time frame at least so FOMC we got a nice strong push uh, on Wednesday to then uh, Thursday and Friday um, uh, the bears pushed back down below this key resistance level if we go down to a daily time frame you see this was the um, FOMC candle here um, and uh, Thursday there was an attempt to keep pushing higher to then uh, get rejected back on that uh, tweet from uh, Trump about the trade war and Friday we kept pushing to the downside as well so the price is back below this uh, important level of resistance on uh, on the Dixie and there is a possibility for a continuation I think we are gonna have a continuation at least to uh, back down here toward this area of interest been tested many many times as uh, strong uh, resistance and then it acted support so these um, these areas should be uh, watch it carefully for next week so if we go down to the four hour time frame you see that uh, the last line of defense is this to then there is a possibility for that continuation to the downside so after this um, strong rejection i can see this as a possible fake out so keep an eye next week on this area here uh, the 90 98.40 up here if uh, there is a correction back to that level uh, something like this and uh, the price uh, failed to break back above these areas then there is a possibility for uh, another leg to the downside on the Dixie and the next level of interest is of course uh, this area that I mentioned earlier yeah um, any um, break back above here if we break and hold on the retest then there is a possibility for a retest of these previous highs but and more uh, for the possible downside here we had a nice push uh, higher and um, this move here uh, we had this uh, first leg correction and this extended all the way and even higher than uh, 1.618 so some more downside here uh, next week is possible at least as a correction to the downside before any continuation yeah uh, oil 
Um, still, um, I still consider oil to uh, continue uh, the bearish move. So on the weekly time frame, we had this uh, lower high now, and uh, last week we uh, had uh, a correction higher to then push lower once again. So keep an eye on uh, on oil to sell rallies. Yeah, uh, I mentioned uh, on the weekly overview last week that 58 gonna be an important level. We pushed slightly higher than that to then. Um, collapse and uh, give you this waterfall all the way uh, back down toward the uh, 54 area so now we have a break below this structure here it is a broken structure possible shoulder head shoulder here the neckline is also broken but i'm still considering more downside on oil especially if the stock market to keep pushing lower so um, again keep selling rallies i think uh, the uh, level that we should be looking at for next week is where the market is testing right now uh, or uh, tested last week so we had uh, we had this uh, break retest and uh, possible continuation is what i'm looking for i'm looking for the market to probably test these area down here around 51 but we need to break below this level first so um, yeah again keep selling rallies any uh, bearish flag here could be a good uh, scenario to sell look for these um, corrections any flag like we had last week could be a good reason to uh, to sell uh, oil at okay um, gold still inside this uh, upper range so if we go to the daily time frame we see that we still have this um, very strong uh, divergence going on but it seems like we stuck in this uh, range right now yeah so there is nothing new here to do uh, keep uh, buying the low selling the high of this range so buy low sell high until we have a breakout i, th I still think uh, oil uh, sorry gold may uh, correct a little bit deeper but as for now it is just to keep following uh, this range okay uh, a strong break above the range could signal a uh, possible continuation without a deeper correction so watch that as well or if we get a, a strong break below the uh, the lows here of this range then to start looking for a deeper correction to the downside unless um, that happening still uh, the main idea is to sell high buy low inside this range usd retesting a key level now so let's look at the weekly uh, the weekly time frame we ended up with a uh, possible um, a reversal candle which is a, a hammer formation on the weekly daily time frame we see that we broke this key level of support that been acting uh, strong support previously that got broken pushed lower rejected here and um, the main idea here right now is to watch this on euro is it that we uh, just having a retest of a broken structure this is key structure that got broken and uh, a continuation or is it uh, gonna continue to the upside so very very important uh, as a textbook trade i would say since we broke a major structure usually we wait for the retest which which is happening right now and we start looking to sell uh, looking for um, bearish evidence to sell it the main reason is of course we have a major low here lower low that broke previous structure and um, the risk to reward if you find a good entry here is a uh, i would say is a great one because um, if you just trade this uh, targeting the previous lows that will give you a 1.5 r so not bad to look for that but be aware if this market um, managed to uh, break above here once again and hold above it there is a possibility for a deeper correction yeah so first off look for this area to be a possible uh, uh, resistance level but since we do not have any news from the us and not much from the euro um I'm not sure about the the catalyst here that would uh, make um, give us the move so it could be a trump tweeting or something like that uh, we should always uh, be aware of uh, this happening 
Um, the main thing I'm not um, thinking of uh, shorting this directly is um, what we saw on the Dixies, that a great rejection on the Dixie. So uh, was this just a um, fake out and are we going back higher? That is my main uh, question here. So uh, great level to look for short, but be careful and look for a strong signal. Sterling USD also uh, testing a key support level. If we go to the weekly time frame, you will see what I'm talking about. So uh, we're talking about these lows um, we had uh, months after the Brexit. So we're talking about a very, very strong uh, and important structure level. Uh, the main thing here that could be an issue that the market may break this level anyway to test this last line of defense as well but as for now um, i think we had a um, um, great break to the downside and we reach it all the way uh, from uh, this break to uh, retest these lows down here and um, the weekly time frame is absolutely uh, looking uh, to be uh, very bearish so daily we uh, after that strong break and continuation we now still uh, see that the market did stop at this important level and uh, it is um, a pretty extended move and the question is if we're gonna get some kind of correction here before the next leg down there is some room for a counter trend trade here but you need to be aware of uh, how uh, dangerous this could be but uh, as a structure level i think it is a good level to try uh, a uh, trade to the upside uh, if there is enough signals on the four hour time frame we start having already bullish divergence here we start having this uh, possible rounded bottom so um, keep an eye on that uh, there is a possibility for short-term uh, bullish move here, maybe toward this uh, uh, previously broken structure before the next move to the downside. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, any break below this low here, that will signal that we're going for that next leg uh, to the downside, which means uh, we are going to test this last line of defense on this, uh, on this market. USD JP also uh, very bearish uh, week last week after the attempt to break above um, 109 failed totally and collapsed back to the downside broke and below previous low on the weekly very strong bearish engulfing candle and as you see if we look left on the weekly time frame there is nothing on the way until we reach these lows down here yeah there is really nothing on the way to stop this market as a structure level if we go down to uh, the daily time frame you see also how uh, strongly it broke below this structure so um, yeah continuation to the downside is the idea so is it it's all about selling rallies the first structure would be this broken level if we got a retest of that to uh, try and sell it could to correct a little bit higher be aware of that so the market will not just do something like this and go back so there is a possibility that you see a deeper correction here before the next move to the downside but uh, basically it is uh, sell rallies the question is um, are we gonna get some kind of uh, beer flag going like this slowly that we could trade that would be uh, the easiest way getting something like that happening or uh, anything like we've got here previously could be also a nice idea to look for something like that to sell it or if it's gonna give you just a normal retest of around the monthly s1 to then try to sell it um, usd chief also um, a very strong bearish uh, bearish engulfing candle on the weekly so uh, i'm looking at this as a impulse and a correction and the question if there is a continuation after this possible bearish flag so um, that is the main idea for possible continuation to the downside on the daily you see that we did a retest of the 200 moving average last week and then pushed strongly to the downside right now sitting at a very strong uh, important uh, support level looking left been acting nice support here here as well and 
lately was uh, here retested and did hold so um, keep an eye on that for more downside you need to see this broken and if that is the case we are going to monthly s2 and probably deeper if this uh, got broken so um, as uh, for now and for next week i would say keep an eye on this uh, range we have so that would be like this i'm seeing this as a fake out as you see it was a fake out the market pushed back down broke structure and uh, now we want to see if it's gonna break this low if this low got broken then we are going for monthly s2 for sure and uh, close this gap here okay um any retest toward this level that could uh, be the area to look for uh, a possible sell with uh, a good risk to reward for a first target which could be the previous low so uh, any retest to that your trade could look something like this so depends on when you find where you find your entry uh, it will give you a one-to-one -one as a first target and of course target two should be monthly s2 so um, that is the main idea for usd chief for next week usd cat <coughs> i'm already uh, short here uh, since i told you in the weekly overview last week to look for um, cells inside this kill zone so uh, now we did reach that kill zone we uh, got this short-term bullish move that i mentioned in the weekly overview and um, yeah the question is um, how far and when will this uh, continue to the downside so um, i took a short after uh, the nfp uh, last week uh, after this uh, strong push to the upside and the retest on the 15 minute i entered somewhere here um, when you go down to the 15 minute uh, when i saw let me explain the trade to you so uh, we had this first impulse on the uh, nfp release uh, then it pushed back down and on the way back on this candle i entered the trade and 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 anticipating uh, much more downside hopefully so uh, let's see if this uh, will continue the first trouble area is of course down here i want to see this broken for more downside next trouble area gonna be here and if that is also broken that will open the way for that longer term move to the downside yeah let's not forget we are looking for uh, something like this as a first major target and next major target gonna be the continuation all the way down it gonna take lots of time but as for now that is the main uh, idea so if you're still not in the trade you want to see a break below this if that is the case you look for a retest and continuation okay aussie usd also very weak and uh, it almost tested this uh, last line of defense here looking left here there is not much on the way if this got broken here there is not much on the way until we still uh, retest these areas down here so i think this market gonna tag this low usually when you are not so far away from a level usually you see the market tagging that level so i'm still expecting uh, aussie usd to come all the way down and tag this uh, low down here the question is if we're gonna just give a tag and a reversal or if we're going to close and hold below it and continue to the downside so be aware of that keep your eyes on this low down here it is a pretty extended move many bearish days in a row and uh, we are at the extreme oversold uh, area here last week on friday we had uh, this nice uh, morning star but we still need to see the market um, closing above that uh, candle for a possible reversal but i would love to see uh, a tag of this low to happen first before i start thinking of any kind of reversal as for now on the four hour time frame still also bearish with lower lows and lower highs all the way and uh, the only thing we have as a possible reversal signal is this uh, bullish divergence on the 
uh, on the RSI. So uh, first off, look for a possible retest of this area to then go down and tag that low. That would be a very, very possible scenario before any kind of reversal. Okay. New Zealand USD, almost same case, bearish, and there is possibility for continuation. For those of you who remember um, this idea, I uh, talked about this idea for a very long time ago, since we broke here in June 2018, in one of the weekly overview, I uh, mentioned this possibility here, guys, to have an impulse correction that now is over after this break here. And the question is if we're going to get the next impulse to complete these A, B, C, D pattern. So this is actually going uh, pretty as planned. We got the retest. And now the question is if we're going to test at least these previous lows longer term. So the market is now testing uh, this key level already here, as you see on the monthly time frame, weekly time frame. Uh, also, there is still some room to the downside to test these lows or maybe even lower. Uh, so um, I think that could be the case. And I still think this market uh, gonna uh, probably move all the way down here to test and tag this low before any kind of correction. So keep an eye on this possibility that you may tag the lows to then see the correction and the uh, possible continuation again uh, for our time frame also uh, almost as, as the Aussie pretty extended uh, there is um, still uh, no bullish evidence more than that little uh, bullish divergence so it is still uh, a bearish uh, market um, and any correction higher could be short-lived so if you get any correction back toward this level here uh, see that as a possible area for uh, the sellers to enter to go all the way and uh, maybe tag these lows and uh, before uh, a reversal yeah uh, any headlines if about china and if the trade war uh, keep getting uh, wars uh, aussie and new zealand will hit, will get hit very very strongly so uh, it seems like uh, the tensions between you, the US and China and keep going so um, expect more weakness if that is the case and uh, let's not forget that both Aussie and New Zealand have a major news event uh, next week also so um, yeah guys that was it for the weekly overview I will now uh, continue uh, all these at least uh, for our trading room um, as usual for those of you who want to um, get the benefit of our trading room uh, just go to my site you have the link uh, down here and take that uh, 14 days trial for only one dollar and try uh, our um, great community and see how we work for just one dollar if you like it you uh, just keep being there not nothing need to be needed uh, if you don't uh, like it you just can cancel whenever you want so um, get over there take a look you maybe will find something uh, amazing for you you maybe will find it not for you and just cancel it if you don't like it thanks a lot guys and see you next week yeah bye bye